Hey everyone, welcome to Impact Kids. I just want to take a moment out first to say Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there in the world. You are near and dear to us, and I know you're very special to each and every one of your children. So Happy Mother's Day 2020. So today we're going to learn about faith. So guys, tell me what does faith mean to you? Define faith. And you can even type your response down below. We'll be excited. We'd love that. We'd be excited to read it. So, Jaden, what is faith? What do you, how would you define faith? I would define faith as putting effort into something you want to do in life. Okay. I like that. I like it. Um, can you guys give me an example of a time where you showed faith? Uh, a time I showed faith is on a Friday. Um the day the teachers let us go out and play football mm -hmm. and my friend he twisted his ankle when he tried to catch the ball okay. and I I helped him and I carried him to the off, um, the nurse's office okay I, I get it like a faithful friend that's good that's good I love it um, show me an example of a time you guys showed faith comment down below um, I like that that's why we're here today to learn about faith I have a folded piece of paper. Can you show what I've given you? It actually represents your life. Fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Mm -hmm. Has lines and curves, grooves. Yes. Faith is believing that God has a plan for our lives. And even though we can't see all the stops along the path, we know that if we trust and follow God's plan, we will always be headed in the right direction. On your paper, you will see lines, and curves. Please cut along those lines and curves while I share the story of David with you. This story can be found in 1 Samuel chapter 17. David, a shepherd boy, demonstrated faith when he faced and defeated Goliath, the giant who was terrorizing their army. No one in all of Israel had the courage to face him in battle, and then in walks a young shepherd boy. David marched into the tent of King Saul and volunteered to face Goliath. King Saul tried to fit David with his armor to protect him, but David refused. He told King Saul that as a shepherd, God saved him from lions and bears and that God would protect him from this giant. David's faith was strong and King Saul could see that. He allowed David to face Goliath. When Goliath saw David, he mocked his size, but David replied, you come against me with sword and spear, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. David ran towards the giant with his sling and shot a single rock at him, taking him down. David was successful because his faith in God was unshakable. The size of his obstacle did not matter because he knew the size of his God. That's the thing. We know the size of our God. No obstacle is too great. As we grow, God continues to mold and shape us through our experiences in life. Have faith that all experiences, even the tough ones, are for our good, and you will blossom and grow in God in ways you couldn't even imagine on your own. Now, let's gently unfold our papers and see where faith has taken us as we follow the path outlined on the paper. We're sitting out in our yard. We're trying to help spring come. <laughs> It's a beautiful flower. You can share these flowers with your mom. Remember, you won't always know where the path leads or the outcomes. But having faith is knowing that all things are working together for our good because you love God. So, let's recap. What is faith? So, Dayton, what is faith? Believing in God that he is a path for you in your life. Very good, very good. What do you guys think? Let us know. We hope that you guys enjoyed today's lesson. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave it in the, com the comment section below. And if you'd like to make this craft with your parents and siblings, click on the link down below. Guys, let's pray together. It's been a wonderful lesson and we look forward to seeing you again. Dear Lord, we are here today to learn and grow together in you. Please touch our hearts 
in our minds to receive today's lessons so that we may apply it to our everyday lives, Lord. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Have a blessed week, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Impact Kids is out. Bye. Have a great day.